Hey, what's up? So in this video, we're going to talk about how to run a switch and a light into your closet. And it's pretty simple, even though nothing really sounds simple when you say electrical. But in this case, this one really is simple and uh, you can really do it yourself. So what you need to do is find an outlet. And in this case, we have this closet right here that needs a light right there. We're going to put a switch right here. And we kind of got lucky because there is uh, on this wall, which is... Um, the exterior wall of the closet we have an outlet right there and uh, whatever your situation is you kind of need to find the closest uh, box probably maybe in the basement or run it somewhere from a different room or closest area so we kind of looked out and have one right here so what we're gonna do is add a switch first and we're gonna put this so this one is actually a 14 2 and uh, it's a white wire and then the yellow one is a 12 2 so in this case this lights very i mean it takes like it's hardly pull anything and so um this white one will do just fine put it in here and then on this side of the wall we took the cover off we have a testing meter that i misplaced but here's another one and we again turned it off so this thing isn't hot if it was hot it would obviously start beeping and be red so right now we're about to take this off all right so everything is really easier with the drill so we're just going to take this off like i said it's off the power is in this living room and then we kind of pull it out a bit and then find that other wire back here so the materials you'll need is this pair of wire cutters right here um i don't know five ten bucks a testing meter is always really great to have which is right there on the floor this one right here also five ten bucks and then your flathead and then some nuts right here. These for the light. So, got this. We'll strip just about a few inches. You don't want to do too much though. And then you'll take the wire stripping and so this is the one that wraps around. I really personally love the ones you can just stick in. And actually, since this is a 14-2, you can actually stick it right into the back of these little hole ports. But if this was a 12-2, you wouldn't be able to. So we're gonna do about a quarter to half an inch. Okay, and so typically the right side is the hot side, which is black, which this one's already black. And we'll go ahead and put that in. See how it just goes in. And then the neutral is the left side, which is white. Just get it in that hole, slide it in, and it's all perfect. So then we'll take this ground and really give it a good wrap around. Typically you'd want to maybe even get a nut, but you'd want it to have very good contact right here. All right, next step is to run our switch. Let's grab a screw. And again, for now, we're just gonna screw it to the wall temporarily. That's good right there. So what we'll do is run this wire. We're actually gonna staple it um, with your special wire staples to the wall in a few minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and measure it out. And then we're gonna want some extra. So there it is, right about there. Cut it right there. Okay. 
working on this just like that. Have some slack. And then we're gonna do the hole on the top. Just like that. So now we have power in, power out to the light. Run this to the top and it'll be right there. Next, we gotta install the light box. Which is this guy right here. That's what I mean by the nails. And in this case, we're gonna put ours right there, but we're not gonna nail it through the stairs or else it'll actually pop out of the stairs. So we're actually gonna screw it in because we have a couple of screw holes right there as well. Run this through. And then we're gonna cut a bit more because we're gonna need the nuts, the wire nuts to fit nice and snug. White to white. And then black to black. This ground around this little guy right here. Nice and secure. We are ready to uh, put on this switch. Same thing, we'll cut a couple of inches off of our. Okay, here's the switch. Pretty simple. You got three screws green one, ground, and then the bottom is the hot coming in top is the hot going out to the light. Okay, so hot coming in, goes in the bottom, hot going out, we'll go at the top. And then these two, we'll need a wire nut to connect the two whites. All right, got me a red one, only because that's the one I found. And then we're gonna take these ground, move it to the left side. I'm gonna take the shortest one and wrap it around this one right here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna give this next one a little loop. Loop it counterclockwise so when it tightens, a good tighten to it. Swing it up, tighten that. Take the screw and, and uh, now we have a light in our closet. Let's go turn it on. All right, this is our breaker panel. <clears throat> we are gonna be installing a new one downstairs. This one is on the main level. And uh, we're gonna turn the living room plugs back on. All right, and so we are ready to turn on this light. So this light has a switch, obviously, and then it has this pulley string. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the switch on and see what happens. Oh yeah, and that's how it's done. Pretty great. <laughs> 